Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'll be revealing seven signs that the guy you're interested in and you are incompatible. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, space where I share with conscious, ambitious, heart-centered and successful women how you can attract the man and relationship you want without the need for gimmicks or manipulation of any kind. Now, the keys I'm about to share with you regarding if you are compatible with a guy or not are weighed differently in each person's life. So rather than checking the boxes and saying, I am compatible, I pass the test, or I'm not compatible, I want you to use your heart, your intuition, and your mind to figure out which ones of these are most important to you, and if the guy you're with is at odds with them, give you the, at least, ability to make a decision about what is best for you, and if the, what's best for you is to move forward, is to move forward. The first challenge, or the first thing that might let you know you are incompatible with the man you're with is that you are in different life stages. What does that mean? That might mean that you want children and marriage and he's still going through some emotional puberty of sorts and he's not ready for either of those things. It might mean that you have a big age difference or not an age difference, but still act like if there's one. You need to make sure that the guy you're connecting with, the guy you're attached to, the guy you're loving and who's loving you, is going to the same place and has a similar timeline for going there. Otherwise, there's gonna be a lot of pain that's unnecessary. And that's something you can find out earlier on in the relationship. If you have different definitions of loyalty, maybe for you loyalty is being honorable in a way that there's no secrets and there's not an emotional attachment that's secretive in kind with another human being, and maybe his definition of, or vice versa, I mean, uh, his definition of uh, loyalty is you don't have sex with another woman. But what about flirting? What about messaging? What about sharing pictures? What about connecting in ways that are not either friends or lovers, somewhere in between? You both need to have a similar definition or that might be a gigantic source of incompatibility that could end the relationship at any point. Next one is if your sexual barometers are off. What do I mean by sexual barometers? If the natural need for and sexual connection that you both have are vastly different. Sometimes you'll be more <laughs> in tune with your sexual needs, sometimes he'll be more in tune with the sexual needs, but if he's really horny all the time and you're not, or vice versa, that's gonna be a big source of challenge because you're not gonna see eye to eye and if you don't meet your needs in the relationship, you might need to meet them somewhere else and that's when big problems occur. Another one is when you have a big, again, big difference or a big gap in physical connection needs. I'm not talking about sexual, sexual needs here. I'm talking about touch, hug, hand-holding, embracing, uh, being close to each other. If you have a vastly different need, let's say you want hugs and kisses all the time and he just, he doesn't want to touch you and he feels like uh, he's one of those, uh, like a cactus, you know, or you can't even come close to him because he, he just lashes out or he feels uncomfortable. That if, if that's your primary love language and he sees the opposite of that, then that might make it to where all the time you're feeling unloved, all the time you're feeling, regardless of his words of affirmation, regardless of what he's doing uh, in actions, you might feel like there's a detached feeling and a feeling of not being loved, not being felt, not being seen. So make sure that the guy you're connecting with, the guy that you wanna create a relationship with, has similar, not identical, because no one has identical needs as another human being, but similar needs in terms of how close he wants to be with you. Another challenge that might make partners very incompatible is when partner number one has an attached, strongly attached personality, and partner number two has a strongly avoidant personality. So let's say you're fighting, you wanna make things better, you wanna work it out, you wanna be close, you wanna be connected, and your partner wants to run away, wants to avoid, wants space all the time. When that happens every now and then, that is very healthy and necessary. When there's extremes of that, when one of the two can't seem to soothe himself or herself, and one of the two can't seem to be present for the other one in times of challenge, 
that creates a strong feeling of somebody chasing the other person. So the person being chased feels yuck and the other person feels abandoned. And that's something that needs to be solved within. But if two personalities are strongly opposed in this and they don't work at it, that could be a strong cause of ending a relationship. Next one is when you're afraid to speak your truth because your partner is volatile, explosive, mean, aggressive, hostile, that means you have to start suppressing your own needs, your own nature, your own thoughts out of fear. So whenever that happens, that creates a false sense of compatibility because the only reason you're still together is because you're not bringing shit up to the table. But the moment you start bringing it up and you will at some point in life, that will become a source of big pain. Last one that I'll share with you, number seven, is if you can only stay with him through suppressing you, suppressing your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your ambitions, your nature. Let's say you have a you have a friendly personality and you can't be friendly because he's a controlling guy or maybe you love singing out loud and he hates your singing maybe you are a poet in by nature and he can't seem to see or experience that in a positive way and he 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 hates it when you can only stay with a person in this case with a man through suppressing something that's very important to you that also means that you're probably not compatible to create a lifelong relationship with each other hope this are helpful, insightful, and useful if they are, and you want to go deeper in understanding how you can enter the best relationship of your life, you can go to the first link in the description of this video and you'll see that I created a class, a training that's free. All you do is enter your name and email and you can start watching that right away. If you like this video, click like and thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified of new episodes, click the little bell. And last but not least, if you want my hand-holding help, accountability, and strategy, to enter the best relationship of your life, and you know that videos are great, but accountability and help is even better, then the second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.